Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session we are going to take a quick glance at our use case. I strongly believe that quickest way to grasp a new technology is learning it by picking up a real life use case and then learn the technology as you work on it. In this course we are going to build a restaurant reservation bot using Node.js SDK provided by Bot Framework version 4. Of a bot will have few dialogues built into it. So let's see what we are going to add to our bot. So first of all, we'll need a welcome message dialog. So whenever a user connects to our bot service, we will present the user with the welcome message. Then we are going to add a make table reservation dialog. This will be a waterfall dialog with user input validation. What it means. So we are going to ask user few values, few data values that we are going to validate. These data values will be uh, something like the date on which the user want to make a, a reservation and the time at which uh, he or she wants to make the reservation and things like that. Then we are going to add a cancel reservation dialog to our bot. This will again will be a waterfall based dialog but we will also add an adaptive card to it. So in the end we are going to add FAQs answering capability to the bot. And we're going to use QNA Maker for this. So all the other intents caught by our bot, except making a reservation or canceling a reservation, all the queries will go to our QNA Maker and the bot will fetch an answer to that query if it exists, if the QNA Maker has been trained to answer that question. We'll get that answer back and we'll present that answer to our user. By the end of the course, you will have built a restaurant reservation bot. You would have learned about Microsoft Bot Framework version 4 fundamentals like activity, activity handlers, turn, turn context, adapters, listeners, etc. You would have learned about various kind of dialogues that you can build into your bot. You will learn about how you can get the user inputs and then how you can validate those input values. Then you will learn about state management, which will include user state management and your conversation state management. You will learn about how you can integrate Louis and QNA Maker into your bot and how your Louis intent can guide your bot's conversation flow. You will use bot framework emulator for testing your bot locally. So we'll learn about emulator. Then you will learn about how you can deploy your bot in Azure and then enable direct line channel to be able to connect to your bot using web chat client. In the end, we'll see how you can connect your bot to different channels like Skype. Thank you for joining in this course and I will see you in next lecture.